We are just one month away from the release of FIFA 23 and things are really starting to heat up for Ultimate Team. This is the most exciting time of the year and if you do things correctly right at the beginning, you can set yourself up for the rest of Ultimate Team. And a big part of that comes down to what you do on the web app. But before I do get into the video, if you're still looking to get some coins for FIFA 22 just to celebrate the end of the year, then there is no better place than Mule Factory. Head over there to get yourself some cheap, fast FIFA 22 coins, completely reliable, and if you use Fnatic 5 at checkout, you'll also get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, the web app doesn't seem as big of a deal. You will still spend 99% of the year in FIFA 23 for Ultimate Team playing on your chosen platform rather than going over to the web app. But right at the beginning of the year, using the web app is crucial to really get things going. You will find yourself being in a much better position compared to if you didn't use it. But you do need to use it in a certain way. Now at the time recording this video, there is no official release date for the web app. It's just one of those things that happens when it happens. At some point in the middle of September, EA will take the current FIFA 22 web app offline. And this will be offline for several days whilst they're working on the FIFA 23 web app within the background. Now it's expected that FIFA 23 early access, which will give you 10 hours early access to the full game, will be releasing on the 22nd of September. This is also the exact same release date that players are expecting the FIFA 23 web app to go back online. And we are just guessing these release dates, but normally, and because this happens every single year, we can make an educated guess based on what's happened within previous years. So normally what happens is early access and the web app releases five days before the Ultimate Edition release. The Ultimate Edition releases on the 27th of September this year. So five days before puts us at the 22nd. Even if we are wrong with this day, it's only going to be one or two days out. But whenever it does release, you want to be making sure that you are using it. The web app is crucial for the beginning of a new Ultimate Team. With your EA Play subscription, you will get 10 hours early access to FIFA 23, but you want to be making sure that you're only using that to play matches. This is simply because everything that you can do within Ultimate Team can also be done on the web app apart from playing matches. And the web app itself doesn't have a timer. You have an unlimited amount of time to sit there and play through it. So if you're trading, opening packs, building teams, going through SBCs, you want to be making sure that you are using the web app to go and do those activities. If you decide that you want to be playing a match, that's when you'll go and log into your console, sign up for FIFA 23, go through the whole process, acknowledge that it will be taking time away from your 10 hours of early access. And once you log in, you can immediately go into a game knowing farewell that all your players have contracts and you're all ready to just go straight in. Once that match is finished, you'll claim your coins. If there's some changes that you want to make to your team or you want to go and do something else, that is when you'll back out, close down absolutely everything, making sure that you're closing the application so the timer isn't taken away in the background. And then you'll log back into the web app where you can carry on playing. Now, of course, it would be a lot better if you could just play FIFA 23. But during these early stages, it's just not going to happen. EA put 10 hours early access there for a reason. And the best way around it so that you are making the most of your time is to use both of these at the exact same time. Now, I want to highlight that this won't be available to everyone. If you have been playing FIFA 22 Ultimate Team for the last year, you have nothing to worry about. You will have access. Whereas if you're a fairly new player, as in you've created a new account within the last couple of days or weeks, it comes down to whether or not you've played enough games for EA to see you as a loyal player. At the end of the day, EA is a business. They want to make money out of you. So it does mean on the day of which this web app releases, as well as early access, you will not be able to create accounts and immediately just log in to the web app. You will be able to sign up for EA Play and you will be able to download FIFA 23 for your 10 hours early access. But when you do try to log on to the web app, even after this point, it will tell you that you need to be playing the game and you need to be an active player. 
Unfortunately, the 10 hours early access does not count as a full game release. You have access to the full game, but because the release date isn't until the 27th, it does mean that you yourself will not have access to the full game. So any matches that you do play on early access don't actually count as you being an active player when it comes to getting access to the web app. It does still count for your ultimate team. You will still get coins and those coins will still be there. After the 27th, you will still be able to have your ultimate team, which you built on early access. But during early access, you will not be able to contribute to being an active loyal player so that you can get access to the web app if the account was just created. I know it sounds confusing with some things crossing over and other things not counting, but this is just the way that EA run things. There is in fact a deadline at some point within August, which no one really knows. It's normally somewhere within the middle or towards the end of August, where if you create an account after that day, you will not have access to the web app when it is released. You need to prove yourself as a loyal player once FIFA 23 is fully released and you will need to play enough games. This is a problem that I had with Ultimate Team a few years ago. So what does this mean that you need to do? Well, right now, if you are looking to hit the ground running so that you can use your 10 hours early access and the web app at the exact same time, you need to be making sure that you have created an account and you have played enough games to be seen as a loyal active player. The chances are if you can currently play FIFA 22 Ultimate Team on your console, close everything down and then log on to the FIFA 22 web app and you have access, it's likely that you will have access for FIFA 23. As long as you are able to go and do this within August and not September. And if you do have access by the time the web app is finally released, you will just log into it as normal. Email, password, security question if you have one, any two-factor authentication if you've also set that up, and then you'll be in to the web app. Now, EA hasn't done this for the last couple of years, but there was a point in time, and I would love to see this come back at some point, where you did get daily login bonuses. This was a fairly small feature in the grand scheme of things. It never gave you anything too crazy. You would log in and you would get some type of reward, whether it be coins or packs, and these weren't anything too crazy. I think the most that you was able to get was 2,500 coins, which was extremely rare. And the best type of pack that you would be able to claim was a 7.5k. It wasn't anything ridiculous. But yet again, because this is the beginning of Ultimate Team, anything that you get right at this point, it just leads into a compound effect where it will just carry on building. It may only be 1,000 coins as a reward, the chances are because it is right at the beginning of foot that you don't have many coins in the first place. That extra thousand coins can buy you an extra player which will hopefully help you perform better in game or my preference would be for you to start using those coins to trade with which will hopefully give you a much higher coin balance towards the end of that day. Ready for you to log in the following day, claim another login bonus, and just keep this going. Now, login bonuses haven't been a thing for quite some time, but the premise still stands. If you can actually extend the amount of time that you can be playing Ultimate Team, which increases your coin balance, you can then use those coins to buy into more players, which will then give you more profit ready for you to buy into more players. And this loop will just keep on continue going on and on until you stop. And if you are like me and you do spend a lot of your time trading, it never stops. It doesn't stop until the next Ultimate Team is released. Last year, I managed to get around 1.7 million coins within the first three weeks of Ultimate Team. And after that, I didn't do as much trading as what I was doing within that first couple of weeks. I would still be trading because I was recording videos and I was showing you guys those videos here on this channel so that you can get the most out of Ultimate Team, but it was a fraction of what I was doing before. And you would see that with my upload schedule as for the first month we were doing daily videos. There was even some days where we were uploading multiple videos with there also being a live stream on top. After that first month, I definitely spent less time trading, but I was still able to go and use the coins that I have to work on bigger trading methods, which gave me even more coins. And for the rest of foot, it was just a case of as long as I carried on investing on a weekly basis into team of the weeks, that 1.7 million would continue to grow. And that's exactly what funded my year of ultimate team. And it all came down to the first couple of weeks of foot 
and the amount of time that I would spend during the early access, the 10 hours of game time, but more importantly, that FIFA 22 web app. And it's gonna be the exact same this year for FIFA 23. Watch how we will be doing the exact same thing on this channel where we grind out Flo's first couple of weeks, get around 1.5 to 2 million coins. And for the rest of the year, it's just a case of us investing into certain special cards, watch them increase and that funding the teams that I want to be playing with. If I do want to go for some of the bigger, more expensive players, it just means I need to spend more time trading to eventually push to them. This is exactly why the web app is so important right at the beginning, because it does lead into a compound effect where you can keep on building coins and eventually the coins you've managed to build will then give you more coins. And it's just a case of money making money. If you do have any questions about the web app, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.